Over two years ago, the open world sandbox game we all know as Kenshi was released. During its time, there's been plenty of things going on and revolving the game, especially considering it's just a single player game. While most single player games end up getting uninstalled after the first or second playthrough, Kenshi is a game that keeps players returning to it time after time again. I personally have kept it on my PC since getting it, I've put in a lot of time into the game and made plenty of videos on it, so I felt like it'd be worth giving my opinion on why the game is worth playing even in 2021 or even later. I'd say. So this video is going to be mostly for new players or people that are on the edge about picking up the game, but it could also be used for returning players. If you like content like this, leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my channel and my other videos, it helps me out a ton. Let's get into the first topic, and that's the world of Kenshi. The world of Kenshi will draw you in just from hearing stories about the game or the gameplay trailer alone, but if you've yet to play the game and experience it for yourself, I'm sure you're wondering how the actual game world and environment works, and I have to say it's one of the most unique and interesting game worlds I've personally played in. The game features four main races that you can choose from. These all have different factions and civilizations as well as sub races and all these different factions go and spread up across the map. They all follow different rules, have some religions or ways of life. Starting the game you have a lot of variety and choices in your adventure. It may be difficult, but it's going to be a rewarding experience whenever you survive and thrive in this world. Aside from the different factions that you can interact with and different towns, there's a huge map full of places like ruins and points of interest, like say the Vault of the Emperor for the United Cities. The world is a great mix of interesting things to do, so much so that I myself haven't even explored the entire full map yet. I'm still working on it. Depending on how you play the game, your adventure could end up taking hundreds of hours and the entire time it's up to you on how you want to do it. If you want to be a normal guy who gets strong, you do that. If you want to be a trader who wants to barter, you can do that. Be a husband who beats up. Well, we're not going to make that joke. You get the point. Moving on though, in Kenshi, there's lots to do when you consider the amazing mod and scene the game has to offer. If you're a fan of add-in mods to games like Skyrim or Fallout, this game is going to be very good for you as it basically has a built-in feature in the game that allows you to make mods. Some of these mods are very basic and using other things you can actually do a lot more like adding in new textures or new characters to the game. Over the past couple years there's been steady progress towards new cities, way stations, bandits, enemy factions, weapons, armor. So if you feel like the world or the wasteland is just getting too familiar or you want the single player game to be a little bit more spiced up then consider just checking out some of the mods that the community has put out. Whenever I've played Kenshi, there's almost never a day where I don't check the workshop quickly to see if there's any interesting mods that have been added that day. As especially the past year, we had some of the biggest, if not best mods come to the game yet. There's a mix of between like thousands of new characters, weapons, types of armors, ways to change the game exactly to your liking, and aside from mods, you can always take your creative endeavors into making your own and add in new characters or weapons that you want in the game. Modding is one of my favorite parts in Kenshi and definitely deserves to be checked out as a lot of these mods, like the next one I'm going to share a few briefly, can drastically change the game. If you haven't seen it already, Project Genesis is possibly one of the biggest mods to be made for almost any single player game. The mod is a compilation of a bunch of mods to expand on the vanilla world. If your first full playthrough through of Kenshi wasn't enough, you might want to feed more hundreds of hours into the game by using this mod. Just to shortly give you a description, it adds a lot more life to the game, makes places like the hub a little bit more functional, you'll see shop traders on the streets, plenty of different characters from factions, there's even more buildings and shops to interact with. Project Genesis is a standalone reason to buy Kenshi or give it a second playthrough, as this playthrough will include thousands of extra lines of dialogue and a bunch of new content. For a single player game, this is definitely a mod that tops a lot of Skyrim quest mods that I've seen in my opinion, as it completely changes the game and gives you a new kind of experience. And next, I just want to talk about learning, mastering the game, and a bit about the game's mechanics. While currently, there aren't really speedrun categories for the game, that doesn't mean you can't try and speedrun this game or at least try and be more efficient and figure out the game's mechanics. Things like RNG are a little bit at play sometimes as you can maybe find a small bandit group which is reasonable and that's you some nice XP making you stronger or run into a massive groups of cannibals who kidnap you and eat you alive. Depending on where you are both on the map and in the game and level of stats, this will determine how great of a chance you have surviving and making it back home. Each character in your faction has their own stats potential to get 
fucking killed, which makes the personal storytelling for the player a unique and engaging experience. On top of this, the game has base building and base defense, as you deal with the factions and races inside of the game. This is one of my top favorite parts about Kenshi as well, picking a nice spot on the map, figuring out how I want my base to look, and then trying to survive there. I really like sort of tower defense games in general, but this makes it another gameplay mechanic along with the many others. The possibilities are really up to you. If you want to set up a base and try and thrive in the wild, stay in the city, there's lots of stuff to keep you playing and feeling rewarded as you make progress in the game. Kenshi is a very big game, so when putting all the mechanics in factor, my advice for replay value is just try different things or strategies, as each playthrough can be a lot different if you play it differently. I spent most of my playthrough for Kenshi Let's Struggle Season 2 in the southern end of a map, and mainly just exploring all of those zones. I dabbled to the north, but I haven't really done much there. But now that I've done almost a full run in the south, I kind of want to make a new run and go up north as the factions over there are a lot different. It's like starting a new game can be a completely new experience while also being familiar and being the same game that I've been playing for hundreds of hours. My best examples of this are looking at my first save files video. Other than the game's journey being similar but also really different for each player, there's lots of reasons and moments in this game that have stood out to me and made it some of my favorite moments in gaming to share. Every Everything you're going to do in the game is just going to make your character a bit better. Running gets you better athletics, fighting better fighting, building makes you build faster. It's very simple while also innovative, as very few things in the game you can do will actually make you lose progress. You're almost making progress every minute you spend inside of a game. And finally, leading on to the last point is the game's community both on YouTube videos and other platforms like Reddit, Discord, Facebook, etc. Kenshi is played by thousands of different players every day, and with so many players who have gone through to make videos on the game ranging from mod videos to guides, tips and tricks, as well as many different playthroughs to choose from. I saw the Kenshi Facebook group, which isn't really that big. It's still pretty active. It has a lot of people in it, and they're doing some parody Kenshi news content, which I'll try and find and throw up for you guys. Along with this, I've talked to a player who was on day 3000 in game and had over a thousand hours on his save file. When I started making Kenshi videos or when the game first came out, there were quite a few people making content for the game, but not that much. Mod videos, guides, any tips and tricks, especially commentaries were basically unheard of for the game and if you compare it to now you can almost find out everything you want to know about the game from written guides to video guides everything has been being worked on and being done by passionate players like myself the game isn't as big as something like minecraft but it's definitely got its own niche and its own community around the game across many different platforms so even though it's not a multiplayer game kenshi will always be like a single player world of warcraft to me as the feelings i've gone from playing the game day to day and the different struggles and challenges I'd have to face makes the game the most unique video game I've ever played. I've talked to people probably more about this game than I have any other online game. And whenever I try and compare it to any other game that's out right now, it's just I can't really do it. The game is so unique, it's in its own field. It's kind of like RimWorld, kind of like this, kind of like that, but it's not. It is very different from everything. So if you see the game on full price, it's around 30 bucks, but on sale it's around like 20 in Canadian at this time. So the game's an absolute steal. I myself have around 500 hours of playtime in the game. And aside from that, I've also made a lot of videos on the game, which take just about as long to edit. So that playtime could probably be doubled. Now, if you're looking for a unique and interesting open world sandbox game to play and choose, I definitely think Kenshi is worth picking up. It's not for those cypher slackers. If you see games like Wormworld and they just make you want to fucking chop your ball sack off and they piss you off, don't pick Kenshi up. This isn't your, gonna be your game. If you think you're going to enjoy a game that's gonna give you a lot of punishment as well as a lot of rewards, then Kenshi's definitely in your alley. There is a Kenshi 2 in development, but that's a long way away, so I'd definitely suggest playing the first game first to see if you like it. And then if you do end up liking it, well, there's a second one to look forward to, so your money went to a good cause. I've got plenty of videos on Kenshi 2 on my channel, as well as different videos on the game in general, so feel free to check those out if you guys want. With that though, that's my reason and opinion on why Kenshi is still worth picking up or playing today. I would say even if it's a couple years ahead, like 2022 or 2023, and you haven't played Kenshi before, it would be worth picking up even then. But anyways, my social medias are in the description. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.